Alrighty guys, welcome to a new video. Today we're going to be playing some Graves Jungle and I'm going to be showcasing how you can go about playing the Dark Harvest rune page and what builds you might want to go with that. I'm going to say it like straight up, I don't necessarily recommend this. Um, I don't think it's particularly good for beginner Graves players, but for people who are more advanced Graves players or people who are smurfing, boosting, etc, then it does become quite good. So that's kind of my recommendation on this. Gonna be starting red and I actually fucked up the wall gem there guys as you can see so not a great start so far. Gonna cut down here and then we will cut back up towards actually yeah no we will. Okay so I'm gonna pull the red up the smart here in a second go Krogs into Raptors and then I'm going for the three camp bot that was my original plan and I'm actually gonna stick to that I don't think it's that worth the ganking um Alawi or Lilia want to make sure basically that you're just hitting the large Krog in this as much as possible so that your clear is as fast as possible. Could have pulled that a little bit better so we waste less time looking to this next camp. Also guys I recommend not to use your E as you're crossing through. I don't think that you need to. You have plenty of ability to kite the camps and avoid damage. I think Graves does not really need to keep grid stacks in order to clear effectively, but the grid stacks are very helpful if you're like, say, worried you're going to get invaded on this camp. Uh, like maybe, I don't know, Sin Zhao or something. Since there's no bot gank, I guess I'll opt for full clear here, guys. So we're going to look for the Merc Wolves into full clear. Now, when you are playing with this build, you do need to be a little bit more cautious of how you're kiting the camps because you don't have that fleet footwork, healing and sustain in the jungle. So you do want to think a little bit more about conserving health um, compared to just max DPS like you would with the full work. But still, you don't want to go overboard with the conserving of health part because you guys will see even in this clear, I started no health part and I'm going to be quite healthy by the time it's finished. Always on the blue buff, you know, you're going to regen a bunch of extra health too because it's pretty much impossible for this thing to hit you too many times. I think I got hit there twice by the blue. Nothing crazy. Okay. Excellent, there's one. Wrap around here for the next. So I'm keep my grid stacks here. Oh my goodness, I got hit by that. It's a little bit tragic. That was nearly dangerous. Anyway, we'll quickly pick up this. And now we're basically chilling. Alright guys, we're gonna take the reset here. Quickly picking up. Serrated Dirk, and then we're also going to grab those tier 1 boots, so we've got that move speed. That's going to help us get around the jungle a little bit faster and keep that tempo high. Also, we'll note here, one of the biggest differences in this game is just how much better our path was and how much better our clear was than the Ramus. Ramus comes to that fight, level 3, we're level 4. We've done a full clear and Ramus has only done 4 camps. So what that means is, first he's skipped a bunch of camps, so his next clear is really bad. He's got a bunch of level 1 camps still, whereas all mine are going to be level 4 camps. And on top of that, he was weaker at the actual skirmish. So, I always say this to my coaching clients, guys, but you do want to make sure that your first clear is perfected as much as possible. If you perfect your first clear, you're just starting off the game from a good position and basically creating the best scenario possible for you to actually win the game. You'll notice nearly in all of these videos that I publish, my first clear is generally speaking better than the enemy regardless of what rank, even if we're smurfing or if we're playing, you know, a diamond, um, maybe even master skin. Shame that we are uh, going to get any more damage out of the Zerath there. This is okay. We're quickly just moving through this Ramses jungle. It's very hard for me to actually know what camps of his are up because of his first clear being so sloppy, but did have the suspicion that his bot side camps will be coming up, and here we are. 
you want to force him out of the jungle here? Excellent. I'm going to save my smite here and move over to his next camp. We can see it looks like Ramus is actually trying to brute force his way back in there, but I don't think he'll be able to do it. Oh. We do see that Lux is missing also, so I'm just being a little bit cautious here. But overall, I do think that it's just being played pretty poorly. Um, okay, I'm going to look for this. Okay, never mind. I think my bot are in a correct position there. Okay. Ah, but I'm fucking taunted, man. Okay. Ah, it's a tragedy everywhere. Jesus. I was CC for so long there. I'm gonna pick up this. Um, I kind of like tier 2 boots, just for the move speed, but also I'm investing like quadruple AP threat. It's only Bane with no AP, so I'm gonna run this. What the hell? You know, I'm super confused about Vayne's build also. And Corefield's hammer. Just kind of a weird item choice. No, they don't see me there. What the fuck? Nice. Excellent. I feel like we're being a little bit too scared here. Like no particular reason, whatever. Yeah, I'm not uh, super happy with health. It's going. What the fuck is that? I might actually wrap back around, guys, and look for another bot lane gank. It's pretty hard for me to kill this Ramus, and it's going to be pretty hard for most of the game. I'm not really playing the best uh, game for lethality build. That being said, though, you know, you don't always get to... Um... I mean, actually, to be honest, like if I was playing seriously, I would not go to lethality build here. So I'm not far enough ahead of the Ramus. So ignore me, I'd probably go... Great build here. That's like the amount of range champions I have. But because I am specifically making this like a video, it's fine for me to do this. Quite confident that I win. Alright, let's wrap down here. This vein actually does a lot more damage than you would normally expect out of a vein. Nice, there's one. Oh no, don't die. He's gonna try and wall jam me, right? Yeah. Ah. Damn it. Alright. Ramus is top. Ramus has a red plus blue. So he's done all of his camps. I might see if I can sneak this drag. Also, he has, like, look at this. Again, another game with the typing. Absolute nonsense. And I gotta say, the having chat on and things like that and low ranks. Yeah, the proof is in the pudding. Every single time we have chat on, you can just see the absolute degenerate things that are being typed. I actually think that the Struck is making the right decision also to mute the vein. Um especially given circumstances here, so. But I also think they should probably should have just muted him already, too. The 
This fan's getting some kind of like assassin build. We should try that one day. We're gonna start making other um roll videos, guys. We're gonna have like a bit more of a full fun channel too. So if you guys are interested in that, soon I'll be sharing the uh link for you guys to watch that kind of content also. Like how you can you know have like the most fun with random kind of builds that might not necessarily be the most optimal thing for ranked, but still also not completely troll. Also, maybe I haven't said this, guys, while I got some spare time. If you like the content, make sure to like and subscribe. It helps out with the YouTube algorithm a lot and also allows you to keep seeing this content. Cool. Excellent. Can we also see the Aurelian Soul there? Done. Nice. Alien Soul dead, which is really good for me also because it was another one of my treasure hunter stacks. Quickly help this guy push the wave and then I'm going to quickly jump across here. This looks like it could be an issue. Hmm. That was interesting. Do I have the locks and presumably also the vein moving? It looks like she's actually just clearing vision. Drilled. Oh, yeah. So, oh, and he misses too. Sad. Yeah. Let's quickly yoink these walls and then we will take our base, spend our gold, and probably see if we can try to stop this vein from continuing to get fed. As you can see, there's yours just chain dying at this point. Don't know if this is watered yet or not. It is. Last time they're in lane. Nice. Jesus Christ. Alright. Man, this vein is dealing just a metric shit ton of damage here. Anyway, now that I've got my base off, I should be a little bit better. A little bit easier to deal with. I double shut down there also for my Zareth, and this guy didn't get his Herald off before 14 minutes, so it's not actually a very useful Herald in reality. I'm pretty happy with this whole set of circumstances. Alright, we're quickly going to run out to our blue. Might be able to get a mid kill or potentially also a bot gank off. What the hell? Why don't I just get back treads? Interesting. Very, very interesting. Also, guys, for those of you that are interested in improving a league, whether that be through one on one coaching or other means, I have a bunch of services at coachmarket.com. I have a uh, you know, one on one coaching group coaching area that you can also join and very soon i'll also be releasing courses on topics where you'll just be able to basically jump on there buy a cheap course on whatever topic that you're interested in and then utilize that information to start climbing as quickly as possible really blocks this here Maybe I was distracted. What the hell is Lux doing there? <laughs> I can't believe I'm actually watching also Lethality Vein. It's quite odd. Ezreal? Flash? Cute? Oh my god.
a hard game. It is a hard game. I'm quickly gonna pick this up and I wanna see if I can. Yes, I wanna see if I can contest that. There's the vein. Nice. Okay, he noobed it up. Let's go. Cross the jungle here, go to my oh, go to my topside camps and we have a two level lead, it's like you know you'd think we're doing quite well. And we are, you know, in comparison to the Grammas, but we still do need to play this game a little bit more seriously, I think. And uh make sure that we do get the dub. Ah, interesting. Can I jungle for my red by the Grammas? It's pretty ballsy. I think that's my last treasure hunter stack. It is. Whoa! Feel this. Just done, right? <laughs> um, yeah, she's uh, out of position now. Needs to pay more attention to her map. I think Vayne's managed to sneak up on the Ezreal, too. Quite hilarious. I had smart there, but was quite confident that I didn't need to use it. And I'd actually maybe like to see what I can do here mid. I feel like Aurelian Soul has to... Oh, he's already popped through. Okay, that's fine. I take the base there then, and I'm going to run straight towards this vein. She doesn't have a uh, shield bow here, so I'm not going to opt for that. I'll quickly opt for this. If she had shield bow here, she's building like a... Uh, what I would consider like a more normal vein build, I would pick up the Serpent's Fang here because they have shields unlocked too. Now Vayne is probably rotating mid, I think. She looks like a pretty kill hungry player. So I'm gonna try and get towards mid as quickly as possible and be in a position to maybe deal with the Vayne. Wouldn't surprise me if Vayne's around here somewhere. Is there any sleeper in this bush? We just need like one hit on the locks and I can alter. Jesus Christ, I gotta be a bit careful here. Nice, smoke screen on the vein. Jesus. This guy just runs it straight. And Molly, he's building so much pen too. <laughs> What the heck? This is uh, quite an odd build in my opinion. Mm, okay. Let's see what the Lux does here. Oh my god. Pain.
so hard to fight these fights, man. Anyway, we're quickly gonna take the Ramesses camps here and then we'll move over towards the drag. Excellent. Drag's picked up here, guys. Three level lead. Quite nice. I don't think anyone comes over the Wobbidoo. They do. I'm kind of happy to fight. Okay, no one comes over. Excellent stuff. I'm thinking that we need to go with this in this particular game. We're going to go Sereldas. That's going to help us a little bit also with the kiting of Ramus. We're going to throw our Q or W out here and get that slow off. So quickly going to pick this up and we grab my camps here before we do anything too serious. See the Ramus is top. Also his blue is up. I'm going to defend my red. Don't want to get counter jump with my red again. Very close game though. I would say they have uh, smurfs on their team more than likely. This vein is probably smurfing. It's the only real way I can see this build being uh, utilized. Mm. There's the vein. The hell? Hit the Venus, yeah. <sighs> kind of need magic resist at some point. Like a little bit more. They have so much magic damage, as you guys can see. Oh! Where's my Vayne's health? What? Oh, sorry, where's my Ezreal's health? Out of me. I kind of want to try and kill this Vayne. I just don't have anything that can really stop him at the moment, like in terms of CC. So I kind of have to get the jump on him, like probably from a bush, auto Q wall gem or something like that. I'd say Vayne's going top here though, which might give me the option to shut him down potentially. He like leaves. Okay. Check the Yomu's on here. Vayne's probably in the side bush. Nice. Get the Q there. Wow. Okay. That guy managed to dodge everything. So let's quickly grab this tower and then grab the Baron. Yeah. This looks good. They do have a Relian Soul who can kind of annoy us here, but shouldn't be able to stop us, I don't think, with just a Relian Soul box. That being said, I'm a little bit low. So, kind of going to want a bit of healing here. Good that the allow is finally here to... Oh no! Yeah, it's fine. Let's go with Hex Drinker this game and Black Cleaver in my opinion. Black Cleaver is just going to give me that little bit of extra pen and also a bit more survivability. Not probably going to be using the move speed from the Black Cleaver that much in this specific game, but it still might come in helpful too. Also, this um, Lethali build is actually going to turn out really good given what Vayne is actually building. Because I can kind of one-shot whoever um, comes to the fight. And then after that, I do have a little bit um, of like an advantage for my team because of the numbers advantage I'm creating. There's the Lux Q.
And see, so like now Vayne basically just can't play the game. That's kind of the good part about this build. Excellent. Also, guys, another thing about these like lethality builds at the moment is if you're playing the lethality build, that ult buff is actually quite useful. I can get range in this guy, he probably dies just from the ult. Don't know where he would go though. Vayne's alive, so I have to be a bit careful. Okay. If someone comes out of this door, I just one shot them. Oh, well, Vayne's getting the bloodthirsty, that's smart. Excellent. He wants to condemn me on that wall for sure. Goodness. I killed him quick enough. Look at this magic damage burn I'm taking from the Aurelian Soul. Anyway, really good now that we've got the more. And yeah, as I said before, that Black Cleaver is going to help a lot. I say the only way I'm going to be able to deal with this Ram is obviously Graves is not the best into tanks. And uh, this Ram is very tanky. You know, for having what he has, he is just so insanely tanky. Vayne's going to have that Bloodthirster soon. That's going to be a little bit of an issue, honestly, the Bloodthirster. I think he might go, like, Bloodthirster IE here. That, I mean, if you're building into IE, that's a weird one to build. I don't think you'd go Navori on Vayne. Um, but one's already super low. Nice for level 16 here. Finally got the... Rank 3 ult, so pretty much I think the game's over here. Look at this ult, it's going to be hitting for 940 plus Dark Harvest stack. So obviously, you know, we're dealing quite a lot of damage right now. To anyone who isn't Ramus, of course. Not sure what this Vayne is doing here particularly. Holy moly, Vayne actually dodged that? Nice. There we go. And that's the lethality build, right? Bane's out of position for just one second and dead. Excellent. She's dead. We're quickly gonna pick up this tower and it should be GG here, I honestly think. I don't know who died over there in the top lane. Lux, was it? Weird place for lots to be. Vayne and Ramus are alive. I guess we just leave here. I want to kind of protect my player. This guy's kind of sprinting it. Ah. Pain's actually just going to kill everyone. Oh, never mind. It's done. Ramus doesn't die fast enough. Vayne does a lot of damage. Heal cut? Wow, that's... I should just go on heal cut instead of uh, Lord Dominic's, in my opinion. We fucked up there with the Mortal Reminder. Oh, sorry, not getting the Mortal Reminder. It's still a hard game to end. Really hard game to end.
All right, let's go. If I had flash, I'd love to just try and go over the wall there and just sip a little kill onto that lox. Where does she have the ward at? See me. Oh my goodness. Nice. There we go. That's exactly what I said in terms of that lethality build. Bane just misplayed for one second and she's instantly dead. And I was also able to kill that Lox too with extreme ease. Alright, nice. We'll quickly go do Baron, I think it's ended here. Black Cleaver is definitely going to help out. And you can also now see, now we've got that offensive magic resist with the more. We're also not dying nearly as much to them because a lot of their damage is coming out of magic damage except for the Vein really. Oh, what is he building? Um, I'm quickly going to grab the blue here, guys. Enemy blue, and then probably base with everyone else. I think that's just the right play to make. So, got the blue, and now we're also going to have enough to buy Elixir. Going to opt for the Wrath Elixir, and yeah, we're on the fucking run here. Let's go kill these guys, end the game, and it should be GG well played here in the next few minutes. Unless they ace us. If they ace us, then that would be a tragedy. Probably need to ping mid. Um... Fine, let's go top, I guess. Bane has the rapid fire cannon. I think it's. Uh, it will help her to like stay out of range of me, so that's like, kind of a good thing for her. Alright, they're all bots, so we need to look at what we can do top here. Okay, I got the Aurelian Soul Flash. Joking, I'm dead. Well played. Bane's probably gonna clean up here. <laughs> okay. We need to group, I guess. I think. I need to not be so far forward. The vein did not, does not, pardon me, get any stronger than she currently is. She's at the strongest point she can get. She can't get any stronger. Yep, it's a good call for my Ezreal. Honestly, maybe I should like pick up the collector here. Like summer Yomas for collector. Let's go. Nice. Maybe I keep chasing here, honestly. We really need to take this in here again. So 
that kill? No. Ah, oh, it didn't proc the Dark Harvest. Had to be close there. that ult again. I have no mana here. We run zoom, we just have to leave. Drag coming up here any moment now, so once we grab that. Oh. I have mana again. In all honesty, I'm gonna look for kills. Nice, got two kills while Vayne was dead. Nice, I managed to dodge that. Ah, I reckon Ezreal is dealing like zero damage this game. Not gonna lie. I truly feel like he's not dealing any damage. Let's see if this camps up, because I need the mana. Excellent, camps up. I'm gonna rotate across the drag. Hopefully, we can try and end off the back of this. I have ult again. As I said before, guys, with this build, the ult buffs actually come in pretty strong. This is a 40 minute game, though, of Lethality Graves, so it's starting to fall off. Nice. That's so huge. I can get into ult range here on any of them. Let's go. We've got 30 seconds again on that ult trap, so basically it's just going to be up in a moment's time. Plus oh, magic damage, man. Alright, excellent stuff. We're out here. Pretty sloppy game by me, but we finally won the game. As always, guys, again, if you do like the content, make sure to like and subscribe. Helps out a bunch with the algorithm. I'll show you guys quickly what the runes did and what runes we did take. I think that we actually took, you know, pretty good runes. It was definitely a smart decision to take um, magic resist in the little... I don't know what they're called, but like at the bottom. Took one of the magic res resist ones and then adaptive and attack speed. Quick plug and let's go to the runes. 38 Dark Harvest stacks, that is kind of huge. 5k damage from it nearly, I think. Honestly, honestly, I think Dark Harvest and Lethality was actually good here, unironically, but I think that's also because of how Vayne builds and played. Yeah, I did need to neutralize the Vayne. Anyway, guys, that's gonna be it for today. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to like and subscribe. Until next time, take care and have a good one.